All right, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Jordan A. Back in the building, playing the newly released Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. My personal front runner for Game of the Year 2024. We found our Chakabu, so we're gonna go ahead and hop on it. See what's going on. is a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea. If we ask him this. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? Well, no. Nope. Really? Not at all? It seems I didn't make as strong an impression as I thought. Silly me. Well, allow me to refresh your memory. My name's Chadley. I was the one researching Materia in Midgar. Hmm, okay. We first met in the Sector 7 Undercity, where I asked you to provide me with battle intel. Though brief, we had multiple interactions, through which we got to know each other. How was that? Ring any bells, perhaps? Yeah. Yeah. Great. What a relief. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. First side and quest. We'll activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. Yeah, let's get on with it. I love the I love I love my new sword. I just wish, you know, similar to Final Fantasy 16, you know, where when I would get new armor and the new new weapon, my character, you know, was shown what it is, but. I'll deal with the all blue outfit and, and Tifa's in them outfit. Maybe they hopefully they'll change. I don't know, but I love the fact that my sword changes. locations of fiends and natural resources hmm. first side quest yeah. 
after careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. So I need to hear. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which in turn reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real-world location. That's the combat simulator, or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons, once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, after poring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one, the tower and colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Which particular task would you like to learn about? While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them- I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures. And if you still have questions about world it, Do you happen to have any questions about- In that case, I see no reason- With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands, though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to- Which of these would you like? Okay. A fire and ice? Ooh! Autocast. Morph. Auto unique. I like the auto cast. I like the auto cast. All right. So we're going to get at the T for the auto unique. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. All right, so. for first Uh, 
Aerith got Shiva. Okay. And we're gonna have to come up with another one. Auto cash. We'll do that like that. Uh, we ain't gonna do no combat simulator. We got. It, it, I, I'm loving it because it's. Oh, like I get butterflies. YouTube is open world. I'm trying to see which one is closest. So we're going we're gonna to hit the Expedition Intel, and then we're going to jump right over to the Fiend Intel. We're going to hit both of these. Our first side quest, and I'm excited. And that is definitely a good thing because I'm... YouTube, the bottom line is, this Final Fantasy, I don't want to check on the Chocobo. I'm going to... I was ready to, to walk. The interaction with the background areas and everything else. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here, you just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come around. Okay, all right. Okay. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. More a little. about riding them right now we're not trying to get to the next to the next next joint all right that's we know what he's gonna talk about why are you going this way here's where we get our birds in shape for the races what races the gold saucers, I mean. There are, won't find a ranch around here that doesn't... So you guys race, too? We've been sitting it out since Mom and Dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon. But never you mind all that. You just... Why don't you try hopping on Pico? Nah. I'm cool. I don't want to do that right now. Not 
terrible, but hey, now that you got the basics... We can't thank you enough. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking... Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to... Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. Two side quests. I hustle. Nice. Alright, well. At this point, we're gonna make our way up here to this tower. I love it all YouTube. I love the music. I love the mood. I love the setting. And just the fact that it's open world. It's just it, it's the world is just completely open to me. From the beginning, it it takes me back to what made RPGs like Final Fantasy and Dragon Warrior and the rest great. Cuz I'm I'm I've been playing Dragon Quest 11 for years, you know, and years and I still haven't gotten deep enough into it, and I... I Look at that! You've stumbled upon a life spring. Why don't you try scanning it? Accessing the planet's figurative database. About it. How are we supposed to interact with this? Well, I like it. Just the little mini game. Got some new enemies here. I'll wrap it. You're 
<laughs> Sing it, Barrett. <laughs> ah, they was they was tough though. They wasn't they wasn't no pushovers. They definitely wasn't no pushovers. Let's see what we looking at. Ah, we looking at. Right. I'm telling you, YouTube. Really, what makes it a ten out of ten for me is the open world. Like I said, I'm I've been working on Dragon Quest Eleven for years, and I definitely waited a long time before I got to that title. I had just recently popped the game back in and and made it to a very, very interesting point because the story is easy enough to track hero, king, old king, old soul, whatever, you know, and uh you know, and I can remember all the story. And they give you a they, they give you a Pressure enemy, staggering enemy, and the boy being poison. Avoid being poisoned. How can I avoid being poisoned? Let's make a quick save here, YouTube. Ain't no need to never want to go back. We didn't pressure him though. Uh, we didn't pressure him, so we we didn't get it all. We got two out of three. Is that enough? Two out of three, or we don't know. Pressure. See what the pressure is about. Don't, don't tell you about pressure.
pressure. Pressure him. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Starting to get hungry a little bit here, you too. So we're gonna go up here and see if we can. We gotta pressure him. We got him. I like that. That's that's gonna be a lot of fun. That's gonna be a lot of fun. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Is this one? I got a feeling that's gonna be crazy right there. I don't even feel like that's gonna be something I could take on right now. Getting kinda hungry though, so. You too, so we gonna go ahead. A chunk of tea, some new items. I didn't get a chance to assess these guys. So, let's get that out the way. Fire and ice. Combat crazy. Combat is crazy and it's amazing. Watch 
I'm not doing too bad. I'm all right. And we're going to use the cushion to... Oh, no, nah, not here. Hold on. So we're gonna use we, we're gonna make this a video YouTube. It's your boy Jornay. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'm retired. I got no job. Nothing else better to do.